development by itself. You can't stop it. It is, it is, it is normal. I'm not here to tell you, you know, stop building. Quality of life is going to be important. People aspirational, you know, growth in income and lifestyle and living condition. All that is fine. Right? We just need to understand that unless infrastructure keeps up, unless um, you know, we become more responsible, we can't live the way we are living now in 2050. Right? Sea level rise is one element, Chris. But you do have to understand that on top of the sea level rise, you'll have the surge from the more frequent hurricanes. So you have this double whammy. One um, tenth hurricane. Uh, among the player factors, you were exactly. player factor. And we saw with um, Ida. Mm -hmm. in, in New Orleans, where the Mississippi was flowing the mm -hmm. other direction. Yeah. Meanwhile, water is still coming down in mm -hmm. the Mississippi. So you, 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 it's meeting the shoreline further inland, mm -hmm. and that's what, that's what causes things. So you know you have these super levees that are now set up post Katrina that did its job, but we are talking about a situation that is, the environment is unforgiving, but you have, to, you have to know what to anticipate and what to expect and plan for it. So they anticipated that kind of condition and it, 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 it worked. They did not do that with Katrina, so mm -hmm. lesson learned. In this case here, we're talking about major infrastructure development across the country that itself is going to spur and drive further development and investment. Built environment. Precisely. Mm -hmm. Climate change is also more than sea level rise. Right? We're talking about extreme weather. We're talking about drought. We're talking about increased frequency of storms and rainfall events. Rainfall events result in, in both landslides and flooding happening. So we also have a platform here that shows every single um, landslide and flood mm -hmm. since, um, since 1830-something. Uh, when you guys started, 1834, mm -hmm. we, we, we trawled your archives, we trawled mm -hmm. Institute of Jamaica archives to find any references to landslides. We have 1692, which is 1692 earthquake there, but yeah. you know, not much else between then and 1834. Um, but you can see here the distribution of landslides and floods. Right before Grace and Ida uh, affected Jamaica last month, I said that there's not going to be a single flood or landslide event in Jamaica over the next couple of days that never had a flood or landslide before. And that's the, that's the beauty about having a, a, a record. Uh, and using that, we can know what's going to happen by 2050. Mm -hmm. All things being equal, right? So in order to be able to see and predict and prepare, you're able now to, 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 to plan. You cannot have a uniform flood mitigation plan across all 63 constituencies when constituencies are differentially affected by natural hazards. It's, that is not equity, mm -hmm. right? That, that, that's, you, you're trying to be, give everybody 63 even pieces of the pie, but that's not going to mean anything. Large constituencies, large parishes, large communities have different incipient risks than other areas. It's not about, nature doesn't care about your politics. Junction road is just one, is that me and road is no, no. Exactly, right? Um, and, and, and some constituencies, some constituencies maybe some constituencies are larger than the parish of Kingston, mm -hmm. right? So we have to we have to understand that that kind of response. Um, you know, you know the, the the argument about squatters living in hazard prone areas need to come out of the political arena, right? Is your vote more important than their lives and investments and all that type of stuff? Is the continued um, bailing out of people who choose to put themselves in harm's way going to continue to be tolerated, right? But it's going to get worse. Um, both the disasters and the squatting problem, because as population shift and change and whatever, people become more entrenched in a particular location. You're just going to have to regularize living in a in a in a, in a floodplain, um, and so on. Uh, so, so landslides and floods are going to be increasingly frequent. You can see that in, 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 in the graphs above. Um, this decade has only just begun. Mm -hmm. And you can see that in the case of, of, of landslides and floods by decade, after just two, well, one and a half years of the 2020s, we're already 25% um, of the total for the decade of 2010. 
So you know we're moving, <laughs> moving yeah. swiftly. Exactly. Right?